All right, hi, it's Sam from EMP, and I'm here with Morgan and Josh from Bloodshot Dawn. How are you guys doing? Good, thanks. Great. How are you doing? Yeah, Amazing. Not, not bad, not bad. How was the show last night? Oh, it was fantastic, mate. Like, um, such a good response and stuff. You know, it's always great to come and play at Bloodstock, so. Yeah, you've done it quite a few times now, haven't you? Yeah, this was our fourth show here, so since 2009, so they keep wanting us back, so. Oh, that's really cool. You're almost the house band, so. Yeah, yeah, close, close. <laughs> You could say that. I mean, our name's not far from the actual festival name. Bloodstock so. Dawn. <laughs> Bloodstock Dawn. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been... Uh, Paul coined it, yeah. Yeah, Paul, Paul from Bloodstock TV has been calling us that. He called us that by accident in an interview, and it kind of stuck, so... <laughs> you should get some t-shirts made of that next time you play. Yeah, maybe. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Yeah, Bloodstock might want to cut, though, but... Oh! It's fine, it's fine. Ah, they get over it. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> yeah. So how's life been? Because you've been kind of off the scene for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's been good. We we took some time. Uh, we obviously had um, lineup changes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've been doing stuff behind the scenes. Really, we we've been a bit quiet socially until this year. We released our album this year in January, so it's been full steam ahead since then. But yeah, I mean, we spent a good year and a bit. Uh, we played a few shows here and there, you know, like uh, we played in Japan and played in London and stuff. And then the first show was Incineration Fest in London, yeah. And, and my then second show was in Osaka in Japan. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, so yeah, I mean, he, he had it pretty good at the start. Uh, yeah, and we just spent, you know, like a year writing the album. And uh, yeah, as soon as the album was out, that gave us all the reason to uh, really push the touring thing again. Yeah, so, yeah. so um, what's like lined up for you next then? Uh, well, we're basically done for this year. We're gonna we're gonna work. Hang on, it's only August, mate. Oh yeah, I know. We're <laughs> pretty lazy band. No, no, no. We, we're just we're working on um, we're working on some new material and stuff, and we're planning to do a load of tours in uh, in January through you know through the whole year next year as well. Oh, for, okay. for the so, so I take it easy this year, and then focus on next year. Maybe go to Europe or well, I wouldn't maybe some festivals. I wouldn't say take it easy. I mean, we started touring in January, and we've been to three continents. So you know, we were doing all right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just yeah, we're we're planning to uh, really hit Europe hard next year, and yeah. and maybe do a bunch more festivals in the summer. Fingers we crossed. We also have cut out time to write a new album, which we thought was going to take longer than two weeks, but that wasn't the case. Yeah, so. yeah. So, so it's basically already done. So we, we're, we, we that's why we're kind of like, oh, you know, we'll have some time, we can finish writing the album, and it's like, oh fuck. We, I mean, uh, excuse me, we have literally nothing to do. No. Yeah. So, so I mean, really, really, priority is. Uh, to prepare and you know get loads of stuff booked up for next year you know yeah. uh, and obviously doing it in advance helps us you know be organized with it so well, yeah, i mean you got to start thinking about next year now pretty yeah, much yeah. how many before it gets too late yeah the other thing the band is now like based all across europe so you know it's you know, it's a logistical thing as well so it's, it's not as easy as just you know playing a local show or something you know we'd love to be able to do that but unfortunately it's not the case yeah i'm fully aware of that like our drummer lives in finland so it's like yeah. well <laughs> can't just meet up and do a gig randomly it just yeah. doesn't work out like that does it no, so no. i mean it, you know it makes it makes you appreciate the time together as a band more though when it's this situation i think so Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing your time with us. I know you've done a million interviews today, but, you know. This has been the best one. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, man.